She is a God-given tree for women in West Africa. My name is Fatuma Tajalo, and I would like to tell you about a powerful resource, a simple nut. The she nut has been a staple in West African society for thousands of years. She nuts are processed into she butter, similar to cocoa butter in food and cosmetics. She also is believed to have enormous medicinal purposes from sun protection, colds, to arthritis. But our interest goes beyond this process to the processor, the producers of she butter, we, the women of West Africa. It's just those really basic things that we need to start helping the women understand. We're here because they're here. And we're here and we're excited to be here because we see that there is an opportunity for all of us to share with one another and really learn from each other. Rahama Wright, a native New Yorker and former Peace Corps volunteer, has created an organization to help facilitate she butter production in West Africa. She Yellen's mission is to create economic opportunity for the rural women of Mali. Also, present on the She Yellen team are her Malian partners, Mahamadou Koulibaly and Burema Traore. This isn't the end, this is the beginning to something larger. The more the women are organized, the better we can have resources come to them. The idea that we have, if we combine it together, we could do great things for those women who are in need all over the world, not only in Mali, not only in Africa, but all over the world. Introducing the newest Lubriderm Skin Nourishing Lotion with natural shea nut and cocoa butters. Soon after Shea Yellen's conception, the most astonishing thing has happened. What's old is new again. She is chic. After thousands of years of use, it's almost like overnight, she is everywhere. Back in the Sahel region of Mali, the rainy season has begun. She trees grow naturally in the dry savanna belt of West Africa, from Senegal in the west to Sudan in the east. During the rainy season, the she nuts fall from the trees. The village women collect the scattered nuts. The nuts are dried, the shells are removed. Now, the nuts are ready for processing. In typical Malian style, there is no shortage of hard-working women and community involvement. The She Healing Team's challenge is to harness that power of community into a cooperative business model. So until you kind of show them that there's a financial incentive to produce shea butter, they're not, they're not going to want to do it. But if you frame it in a way where they know that they're going to be able to produce a higher output quantity and they're going to be able to connect to buyers, they're going to be more interested in it. That this is something that they can produce from the earth that grows wild and they have to collect it. And it's all a matter of their labor. Uh, that goes into the creation of shea butter. It has tremendous kind of s soothing properties to people, both physically and I think also kind of spiritually in a way, because it is so much a part of the earth. Like me, the rural women of Mali are responsible caregivers, arduous workers and devoted companions, but our greatest struggle is financial independence. Those women in the rural area, they suffer more and they work very hard. They see this project a mean to improve their quality of Shiba and at the same time improve their rural life. Financial hardship drives some women from their tranquil rural lives to the market in Bamako. Bamako, the capital city of Mali, a dense, bustling city that poses to its own kauri beat. Rural women can make a small profit at the big city markets. But 
without direct access to international buyers. They are dependent on local brokers to move large quantities of shale. <laughs> this is Zanchebugu, a small village 150 miles south of the capital city of Bamako. On the edge of town, in a grove of she trees, something inspiring has taken root the Women's Union of Zanchebugu. This cooperative, operated by a group of local women, manages the process and merchandise of their own brand of she butter throughout West Africa. The Women's Union of Zanchebugu was formed many years prior by a dedicated philanthropist named Madame Kone. A progressive, free-thinking widow, Madame Kone transformed her mother's dowry into a compassionate pursuit to create financial solidarity for the women of Mali. Now today, the women continue to broaden the operation. Revenues are up, markets are expanding, and the number of members grows daily. This flourishing cooperative has become an illuminating light for the women in the region. If we can help them produce more butter than they would normally, if we can make it more efficient, or, and this is the big thing, if we can expand their markets and cut out some middle people, then the, I think the profit could be significant. In a world that's as hard scrabble as it is in Mali, I think any percentage of increase in the income that people get from their activities and their labors uh, is going to have some impact. It's not political, it's not something scary or in your face. It's something that you use, it's something that you consume. And if we can make the bridge stronger and connect the producers to the consumers and educate and share and allow that human connection to happen, it can have a tremendous impact on the lives of the women. I think it's important for people to start connecting and I definitely saw that connection. The women were so excited to have us there. I felt like there was like hope. You never know how something is going to turn out when you start it and I feel like this is turning out into something I could have never imagined. <laughs> The light of Africa, at times golden, occasionally flickering but always profound. The past is paved with many neglected ideas, programs and solutions for how to deal with Africa's many problems. But Africa is a country rich in natural resources. The solution might be simple, empower the people to utilize their own resources and generate their own ideas from within. And maybe give the hardworking women of Africa a shot. Invite us to the table and grant us, the women of West Africa, the opportunity to participate in the global marketplace. And you never know what might take root. <laughs> will bring life, will bring more energy in their life because she self is alive. Mafe alaka she jandima. You know the word she has a connotative meaning because she is alive in our language. Africa. <laughs>